This is not a fairy tale. Come and play the game. If you want to take the tower on, you'll have to say his name. It's Wily Sneak, Wily Sneak, Wily Sneak. <laughs> Now it's off to the tower. You'll be up against each other. Sabotage the game, my friend, but do not blow your cover. I am waiting for you, kiddies. Who will take the rap? Because only one will escape, and the rest... <laughs> You're trapped! Pack down with your footle steps. All right, scootle on him, but keep your speaking all shut. I've nearly got him. Come to the caretaker. <laughs> That's one of my snarts. It starts like a nozzle twerk, but finishes with a big flubber up. I'll be snarting all day now with this dust. I bet they heard that one as far off as Edinburgh. Yeah. That's a way off land where the people walk sideways. Oh, hello, Dr Finlay. Hey, Janet, is that you? <laughs> and that's where this week's batch of wretches is coming from. You're just in time. I think I can hear them now. The unfortunates. <laughs> ah, so, up they comes. Up to the tower. The dark, ancient, rotting, fiersome tower. Although the bats are quite cute. <laughs> so, who's in my fresh batch of cagelings this week? That's Sam, he grows cheese between his toes. Joanne, who can put a big toe in her ear. Tom, his favourite hobby is collecting bogeys. Rebecca doesn't have any eyebrows. Caleb, he can fit an entire sheep in his mouth. And there's Bonnie. She wants to be a hammock when she grows up. I only came to the tower for a night's kip hundreds of years ago, but I've been trapped here ever since. The voice caught me. She's a cruel mistress. I've never seen her, but you can always hear her talking in your eyes all. She's promised to let me go, only if I help her trap as many unfortunates as possible in the tower. This is my watch tank. From here, I get to see everything that goes on in the tower. Six unfortunates starts here at the top and works their way downwards. If they makes it out the bottom, they're only time for tea and a nice wormy roll. But it's not that easy. To escape each floor, they have to complete a challenge together. But one of them cannot be trusted. The saboteur. <coughs> The saboteur's job is to make sure they all fail the challenge. The voice chooses a new saboteur on each floor. You are the saboteur. And she talks to them secretly using the whisper clip, a cunning little device that goes right inside their noise hole, which means that she can be murmuring helpful, stinky little tips to them without the others hearing. If the team succeed, the saboteur will be trapped on that floor. If the team fail, it could be any one of them. In the end, only one will escape. The rest will be trapped. <laughs> floor six, toxic treats. <laughs> ah, sweet toxic treats. <sighs> it's like the worstest Christmas presents you could ever, ever have full of nasty surprises. <laughs> to show you how it's done, here's Wily Sneak, an unfortunate trapped a hundred years ago. In this challenge, the unfortunates will have to pick parcels from a pile of presents. Some contain lovely treats, whilst others contain something toxic. Unfortunates must open three lovely presents to pass the challenge. But if they open three presents full of stink, they'll fail. Remember, not everyone will be trying to win. On each floor, there's always someone who can't be trusted. So, who is it this time? Don't look at me. It's up to the voice. It's time to pick the saboteur. Tom, do 
not react. You are the saboteur, and you are the only person who can hear my voice. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. All the presents with the color purple anywhere on them are toxic. You must convince your teammates to open three presents with the color purple on to fail. But remember, you must remain undetected. I will guide you through your whisper clip. This is the part I love's best. I know who it is, you know who it is, but the rest of them don't. <laughs> can Tom make the others lose so he can win? Unfortunates, this is Toxic Treats. To pass, you must open three good presents. If you open three bad presents, you will automatically fail. Let the challenge begin. Now. Tom, remember, presents that have purple anywhere on them are toxic. Get, get, get one that says this one. Which one? This one. This one. This one. This one. No. What about this one? No. No. What about this one? The black one. No. What about this? Let's try this. Let's try this. Be careful not to sound too pushy. <laughs> well done, Tom. Like you want them to open a good present, but try to convince them to open a present with purple on it. Maybe. That might be good. Maybe. That maybe one. What about this one? The no, try, use the maybe one. The maybe, Caleb, down there. Maybe. Brilliant. This is going to be two to you. Tom, you don't want to be too obvious. Maybe you should suggest a good present to put them off the scent. Maybe a good what about one? that one that says right? right. I think also yeah, right. right. C. Right. 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 Yeah, C. 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 Yeah, right. C. Uh, C. Okay, that was a good one. You think. I think. You're two down. You only need one more. Okay. This time, why don't you try and get them to pick another purple present? Well, I think you should get a red one. one. What about... Right. What about that? Oh, this one. Right. No, that one. No, what right. about that one there? That one... The one under bad. That yes. should be good. Yes. The one under bad. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Nicely done, Tom. You've done it. Just remember to act upset. <laughs> <laughs> Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Ha! Looks like the challenge has been sabotaged. But has the saboteur been seen? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Sam, who do you think the saboteur was and why? I think the saboteur was Tom because he chose the first one and it was wrong and it was his choice. Joanne. I also think that the saboteur was Tom because he made a lot of suggestions and most of them turned out wrong. Tom, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was uh, Sam because he thinks it was me. Rebecca. I think the sauce here is Tom because he kept choosing the wrong decisions. Caleb. I also picked Tom because for all of them he's been picking the wrong ones. Bonnie, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Sam because he made a couple of mistakes that went wrong. You have voted for Tom. The saboteur was, in fact, Tom, you will not be leaving this room. The saboteur's been trapped! The others are free to pass to the next floor. Tom, why do you think the others voted for you? I don't think it was very fair that I got voted off because I did quite a good job of being the saboteur, but whatever. Poor, unfortunate Tom. Get lost. <laughs> You're trapped! Uh, get lost! Did 
he just say, get lost? Well, there's not much chances Tom will get lost in that room. Floor five, Freaky Factory. It's a really mean machine. <laughs> I wonder why it's called the Freaky Factory. Maybe everyone who works there is a total freaky freak, freaking freako. Let's find out. This is Freaky Factory. As a team, the unfortunates must fill the egg boxes on the conveyor belt with matching coloured vulture eggs, which they will find at the back of each booth. To successfully complete the challenge, they must correctly fill five of the coloured boxes. They only have 90 seconds to do it, but beware, the saboteur will be working against them. Remember, one of them cannot be trusted, but who is it? Rebecca, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by stopping the others from filling the boxes with eggs. Smash or steal eggs if you like. Anything to stop them. But be careful. You don't want to get caught. Rebecca is the next saboteur. The voice in her whisper clip will help her with stinky tips so she can sabotage the challenge. If she remains undetected, Rebecca will be safe. But if not, she will be trapped! <laughs> Unfortunates, this challenge is Freaky Factory. To pass, you must correctly fill five egg boxes. You have 90 seconds in which to do it. Let the challenge begin now. Remember, you must stop your team from completing the boxes. That's it. Mix up the colors. Ruin the game. Brilliant. That's it. Keep on going. You're doing really well. Why don't you try throwing an egg and framing one of your friends? One box complete. Two boxes completed. Don't take your eye off the eggs. Three boxes completed. Be careful, Rebecca. They just need two more. No! Four boxes. Five boxes completed. You've blown it. You have passed. Therefore, the saboteur is automatically locked in the room. But before I reveal the unlucky unfortunate, who do you think the saboteur was? Oh! Joanne. I think the saboteur was Sam, because I kept having a lot of eggs thrown in my section. Rebecca, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Kill, because I kept finding different coloured eggs in my pot. Caleb. Um, I think it was Rebecca, because I just have a feeling. Bonnie, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Caleb. I think that he's been smashing some. Sam. I think it was Joanne, because I saw a cracked egg really near me and I heard it crack right next to me. You voted for Caleb. The saboteur was, in fact. Rebecca. Rebecca, although you were undetected, you have failed to sabotage the challenge, and therefore you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Crumblebods! <laughs> Rebecca, why do you think you failed as the saboteur? Um, because I didn't put too many eggs in the pot and I should have taken some more and cracked them. So that's why I thought I didn't succeed. Poor, unfortunate Rebecca. You're trapped! So they didn't think it was Rebecca, but she was trapped anyway. She should have smashed more eggs. Floor four, snake attack. My snakes are ready for a bite. Snakes? Slimy, slippery, slithery. But enough with the compliments. It's snake attack. 
A strange wall faces the unfortunate. <laughs> one of them must make it safely from one side to the other, choosing which holes to put their hands in. They must choose wisely, because the wall is home to a hungry, child-eating python. She'll be waiting in one of the holes for a little snack. It's simple. If they get bitten three times, they fail. Can they trust everyone on their team? Not likely. But who will it be? That's up to the voice. It's time to pick the saboteur. Caleb, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by steering your team towards the snake. I will tell you where the snake is. You must use your powers of persuasion to fail this task, but be careful. You don't want to be detected. Ooh, turncoat! Caleb is the next saboteur. He is not to be trusted. I know that, you know that, but they don't. <laughs> can Caleb make the others lose so he can win? Unfortunates, this challenge is snake attack. You must avoid the child-eating python. Let the challenge begin now. Caleb, the snake is hiding in the middle hole. Try it, try it. The middle one. The middle one. He's going for it. That's one to them. The snake is in the top. No, the middle one again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, Caleb, don't worry. The snake is in the bottom hole. Maybe it might think we're going in the middle. What do you want to do? The bottom one? Yeah, the bottom one. Try the bottom one. Yeah, the bottom one. Yeah. <laughs> ah! what well done, Caleb. The snake is in the middle hole. We've not really tried this one. No, I might think we're going to middle, the top one, seeing as we haven't done. No. Yeah, do the middle. Oh, fine, try the top one. No, try the top one. Don't be too obvious, Caleb. What do you want to do? Middle? No. Watch it. One more bite and your team fail. Middle. Oh. Okay. He's going for it. You have failed miserably. The saboteur has succeeded, but have they remained undetected? Ooh, you've got to be sneaky to sabotage successful like. Did the saboteur have what it takes? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Caleb. Who do you think the saboteur was, and why? I think it's Bonnie because she picked the ones that where the snake was, and hardly ever picked the ones that weren't the snake. Bonnie. I think the saboteur was Joanne because she made a couple that were wrong, so it kind of seemed like that she was a saboteur. Sam. I think it was Bonnie because she did do a couple of suggestions that were wrong. Joanne. Who do you think the saboteur was, and why? I think that Bonnie is the saboteur, because even though I did make some wrong ones, um, I think she made more than me. You have voted for Bonnie. The saboteur was, in fact... Caleb. Bonnie, you will not be leaving this room. Oh, I can't believe he got away with it! The others are free to pass to the next floor. Bonnie, why do you think the others voted for you? I think the other people voted for me because I made loads of mistakes and I made Sam pick the wrong ones. Poor, unfortunate Bonnie. You're trapped! <laughs> Poor Bonnie, trapped with only the snake for company. Floor three, poison banquet. This floor is a feast of wickedness. Oh, the unfortunates have bitten off more than they can chew. This will leave a bad taste in their mouths. Uh. The unfortunates face a five-course banquet. 
taken in turns, they must eat one cake from each course. But unfortunates beware. One of the three cakes in each course is poison. <clears throat> to pass the challenge, the team must eat three good cakes before they eat three poison ones. But who is the dinner guest trying to poison the others? You know the drill. Who will it be? Who will it be? Who will it be? <laughs> Don't ask me. It's up to the voice. Caleb, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by poisoning your team and, of course, yourself. I will tell you where the poison is. It is up to you how you use this information. So, Caleb is the saboteur. Twice in a row? If he remains undetected, Caleb will be safe and just a flaw from freedom. But can he do it? Unfortunates, this is Poison Banquet. To pass as a team, you must eat three good cakes before you eat three poisoned ones. Let the challenge begin now. Caleb, the cake with a brown sweet on the top is poisoned. What do you think? Uh, brown? No, try that. Nice try. At least you've won their trust. <laughs> on the next platter, the cake with the yellow sweet on top is poisoned. Remember, it's all about the power of persuasion. Yellow? Yellow. Yellow. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That looked like Joanne's fault. What was that like? On the next platter, the poisoned cake has a blue sweet on the top. No! Hello, unfortunates! <laughs> Ignore the head, stay focused. Which one of my tasty cakes are you going to try? The blue sweet marks the poisoned cake. Blue and red. Which one are you going to go for? Oh dear. Oh dear. I thought the red one was going to be the poison. Brilliant. You just need one more for your team to fail. The next poisoned cake has a what? purple sweet on it. What do I poison? Well, I'll uh, try that one. The purple one? Yeah. Yeah. Joanne picks purple. Oh, purple one? <laughs> Mine. <laughs> I don't know. I hope this isn't poison. A perfect performance, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> You have failed miserably. Looks like the saboteur has made the team fail, but they're not safe yet. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Caleb, who do you think the saboteur was and why? I think it was Sam because he ate a f um, few of the um, poison one, and I think it was him because he chose um, some of them. Sam, who do you think the saboteur was and why? I think it was Joanne because she um, told me and Caleb to take the poison ones and so we did. Joanne, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Sam because he's not been it before. You have voted for Sam. The saboteur was in fact Caleb. Sam, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. He's only gone and done it! Sam, how do you feel about being trapped? Mm, not that bad. As long as I don't have to stay with him, I'll be fine. Poor, unfortunate Sam. You're trapped! Oh, so Caleb's escaped trapping twice. I wonder if his luck's about to run out. Floor two, one way out, and there can only be one winner. It's the fight for freedom. Let's hope the unfortunate has been paying attention. Now, they have to fight for their freedom by answering questions about their time in the tower. They're both after the key of freedom. It's simple. Win and you'll escape. Lose and you'll be trapped. 
I'm so excited. I could marry a mango. Unfortunates. You have 60 seconds to prove yourself. Let the challenge begin now. Caleb, who was the first person to get poisoned in Poison Banquet? Joanne. Correct. Joanne, who was the saboteur in Toxic Truths? Tom. Correct. Caleb, how many unfortunates played Freaky Factory? Five. Correct. Joanne, how many holes were there in total in the snake attack wall? Fifteen. Correct. Caleb, who got the most votes in Freaky Factory? Me. Correct. Joanne, who received the most votes on snake attack? Bonnie. Correct. Caleb, what colour was the tablecloth in Poison Banquet? Purple. Correct. Joanne, what was stacked at either side of the wall in Snake Attack? Bricks. Correct. Caleb, who was the saboteur in Snake Attack? Me. Correct. Joanne, who was trapped on the third floor? Joanne and Caleb, your time is up. Joanne answered four questions correctly. Caleb, you answered five questions correctly. Joanne, how do you feel about being trapped? I don't mind it so much. I got this far, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> Poor, unfortunate Joanne. You're trapped! Caleb, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change my mind. Caleb's going home to Edinburgh. The others are trapped all alone. Oh dear. <laughs> I've got a dry, tumbling rummy. I never did get my hands on that tasty tummy filler of a spa. Ha, 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 aid! <laughs> Oh, 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 hey, that's nice and toxic. Got to keep the place foul and fusty, just how I like it. Now, come on, hey, scootle off. Get back to your cosy dwellings before I shut the door. I mean, you wouldn't want to get trapped. <laughs> Thank you.